Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is really special and I'm excited to share it with you. Some of you may know I've been working with Eco Tools this year as one of their Eco Elite members to spread awareness for their Make Life Happen campaign. The Make Life Happen campaign is all about empowering women to make life happen. So every month they release a curated box full of goodies around a specific theme that help inspire you and motivate you to reach your goals. So this month I have curated the box and I cannot wait to share what's inside. Huge thank you to Eco Tools for letting me be part of this campaign and for collaborating with me and sponsoring this video. So the theme for this month is you gotta nourish to flourish. So everything inside of this box is all about building a little extra time into your routine for self-care. You guys know that I love self-care. I talk about it a lot here on my channel. So all the products inside are gonna help to spend a little bit of time nourishing yourself. So I'm gonna show you what's inside the box and then I'm gonna do a foundation routine using the products inside. So let's go ahead and begin. So here's what everything looks like inside. Inside you have the Precision Blush Brush, a small thermal styler. I love this brush, especially when you want a great blowout. You have the brand new 360 degree ultimate blend kit. So these I'm gonna show you how to use with your foundation. I love these, they're really pretty in this blush pink color. And then you have the mini mask mate. So this is great for when you do an at-home face mask. Then you have the ultimate concealer trio. You have a jar of the Kapari Coconut Melt. This is a product I've talked about on my channel before. You can use it for so many things. And then a little headband. So that is everything that comes inside of the box. I'll have all the information in the description box, but now let's get to the foundation routine. Okay, so the first step in creating a flawless face is of course, skincare. So last night I used the Mini Mask Mates kit to prep my skin. Doing a face mask at home is one of my favorite ways to practice self-care. You guys know this, I've talked about it a lot on my channel. And the really great thing about this mask kit is that you can use your favorite ingredients. So you can use any type of clay. I'm using a green clay here, which is great for deep cleansing. This kit is perfect because it gives you a mess-free application. It comes with this tray for mixing, a brush to apply the mask, and a sponge to remove it really easily. I also use the Kapari Coconut Melt to moisturize my skin. I love this product because it's multi-purpose, so you can use it for so many different things. I love using it as a hair mask. I also use it to shave my legs, and it's really good for removing eye makeup too. Since this is a foundation routine, I already did my eye makeup off camera, but I'll list everything that I use in the description box below. To get a flawless foundation look, I'm going to begin first with the Ultimate Buff Brush. This is from the 360 Degree Ultimate Blend Brush Kit. This is brand new to the Eco Tools brush collection, so I'm very excited that this set was included in my box. All three of these brushes in this kit are great for giving it really even, perfectly blended finish because they're densely packed and they have a dome shape. So I'm using the Vanish Stick Foundation from Hourglass. This brush is really ideal for cream and stick foundations like this one because it gives a very even finish and you can also use it to build up the amount of coverage that you want. So I'm just using circular motions like this to buff it into my skin. For concealer, I'm using the Correct Brush from the Ultimate Concealer Trio to apply my Tarte Shape Tape. This will conceal any darkness around my eyes. This brush is great for a full coverage finish. And then to set my concealer, I'm using the Airbrush Brush from the same kit and I'm applying my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I've talked about this before. It's one of my all-time favorite products for setting concealer and really brightening your under eye area. This brush does a really great job at just diffusing that powder so it doesn't cake it on where it gets settles into fine lines. It just does a good job of just air, giving that airbrush finish. Now I'm gonna go back to the 360 Ultimate Blend Kit and use the Ultimate Pop Brush to apply the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. This brush gives a really nice sculpted effect, so it's a great choice for any cream-based bronzers like this one. If you wanted a more intense contour, then you could go directly with this and then blend it out with the brush. But I'm just taking the brush onto the product and then blending it into my skin. Then I'm gonna use the Ultimate Cover Brush from that same kit to apply my Illuminating Highlighter. So I'm just using this on the tops of my cheekbones and blending it out with a brush to diffuse any harsh lines. And then to finish off the look, I'm using the Precision Blush Brush to apply my blush. I'm just using one from Physicians Formula. I like this brush because it has tapered edges, so it's great for a buildable natural color look. 
To set everything in place, I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder and this full powder brush. This is not included in the box, but it's one of my favorite brushes from EcoTools because it applies powder really evenly and it's so soft. So here is the completed foundation look. I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial. I'm so excited to have curated this month's box, so be sure to head over to ecotools.com to pick one up. I'll have a link down below for you guys in the description box as well. They only make a limited amount of these, so be sure to act quick. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, huge shout out to Ecotools for collaborating with me and sponsoring this video. But I love you guys. Thank you for making things like this possible for me and for your support. It truly, truly means the world to me. If you like videos like this, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I would love to have you here. So be sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.